birthday match. Hey everybody and welcome back to my opera channel and to another birthday celebration where this week we are talking about the legend of all music. The man who traveled from Germany to Italy to London who wrote 104 symphonies. On February 23rd, 1685, Mr. George Friedrich Handel was born and today we will be talking about his sixth must-see vocal works, and I would like to make a disclaimer. I am no Handel expert, so these are just six that I thought you shouldn't miss, but I am also not a Handel expert, and he wrote so much music, so it was very, very, very hard to pin it down. And the amount of vocal works he did, I, I, I don't know how someone does that much work in their entire lives. I think he wrote over 44 operas, and that's not even considering the oratorios, which are now sometimes performed as operas. So there's just endless, endless, endless amounts of vocal work that Handel brought to the world. But today, here are six, and I had a very hard time picking these six, but here are six that you must check out. So without further ado, at number six, this one I am pretty sure you've heard because you've watched movies about British monarchs throughout the years. And since it was written for George II's coronation in 1727, say it off the priest, it has since become a staple and a must for every single coronation since. So I am positive that you have seen it or you have heard it. If you have been watching The Crown, you heard it there. And if you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, I will link it down below for you to check out. And if you have any other places where you remember movies that you've heard it, please link them down below. At number five. Now, before I move on to number five, most of the operas and oratorios that Handel wrote, well, obviously oratorios that Handel wrote, were based on either Roman or Greek mythology or biblical stories or historical events that happened. So the next few, I'm going to skip over the synopsis of the story and I'm just going to say them. If you would like to know more about the stories of these operas, you should check out All About Myths Baby, which is an amazing podcast by Liv and she loves that shit. So go check it out. All of her links are down below and I really recommend it. I've been listening nonstop. At number five, we have Rinaldo, which holds the very famous aria, La Chacupianga, which I can't even count the amount of times I've heard at recitals or concerts or as part of like movie soundtracks. It's, it's everywhere. And at number four, we have Semule, another great Roman myth. It has great, great arias. Iris Hensaway and Myself I Shall Adore. That's a really fun one. At number three, Elchina. Now, like I said, I am not a Handel expert, but I did ask my friend who is a big lover of Handel, what your favorite Handel opera is. And she said, Elchina. It does have some banging numbers. And how could you go wrong with the sorceress on her own island? At number two, Giulio Cesare. The story of Julius Caesar, it starts off with a severed head. Like I said, so many myths, so many historical events and Lastly, at number one, a staple for vocalists, vocalists, and just a straight out thank you for letting us pay the rent. Thank you, Hendel, for writing this piece of music and for helping us also all buy Christmas presents. Hendel's Messiah, the story of Christ, which is performed every single Christmas season. And yes, we are no longer in the Christmas spirit, but hey, I have my Christmas ornaments, so I guess we're always in the Christmas spirit. You definitely know stuff out of here. All will be linked down below. Anyway, that's all folks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And please let me know what your top six are of Handel's vocal works, because they, like I said, there's so much. And anyway, I will see you all next week in a new video because I make a new video every single Monday. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can be notified when I make a new video, which is every single Monday. Until then, have a great, 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 great week. Drink lots and lots of tea and, and go see an opera. And when you're there, share with me what you went to see. Use the hashtag Diva Studies and I will find you. All right, bye.